Hey, this is your boy, Jerrod, coming right back at y'all with another tutorial. So I've been getting a lot of requests, and I've been waiting around for my subscribers to grow, and bam, we're at 400, so I'm very excited, and I'm gonna, you know, just make something really cool and new. So, today we're gonna talk about tries, and a lot of tries come from importing and exporting from different softwares, like Maya, Cinema 4D, Studio Max, but there's formats you can export things out, so you don't get the tries, but that's how you do get them, so let's get started right away. All right, so first thing, let's go into our edit mode and press the A key to select everything. Well, I'm just guessing everything's gonna be triangulated because that's what happens usually when you import triangulated meshes. So there's two ways you can do this. You can use the Alt-J keyboard shortcut to basically open up the tries to quad panel. And generally you wanna keep this between, just keep it at 40 basically, because it does a really good job. Everything else below there, you don't need to pay attention to. It's not really important for what we're doing right now. And I can do a in-depth on tries to quads. But yeah, the other way to do this is you have to be in edit mode. So go to the face button at the top. See, if you scroll down, you see right there, tries to quads. That's the other way to do it. If your mesh is not already selected, you can select it using the W key. Just drag a box around your, you know, your mesh. Make sure you do it with X-ray turned on because without X-ray, you'll get a, you know, you should know that. You should know that. Of course you do. Of course you do. All right. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Subscribe, like, comment, and yeah, give your boy some support for this tutorial and a lot of other great high quality tutorials that will be coming soon. So, peace.